thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, I will let you guys know in other videos, you know, to let you know what I've been up to and stuff like that. But um, today it's not about that. Today it's about some new brushes that I purchased. And um, yeah, let's just jump into it. These are the brushes that I purchased. I bought them off of eBay. I can't remember the exact price, but I will link it down below for you guys. It comes in a set of 15 and there are various colours with them. So this is what it looks like. I got the white and gold set. Ooh, that's what it looks like. When I did get them through the post, it came with this nice little pouch bag. Mine's a little bit dirty, but you know. And it also comes with a little leaflet that has like a guide of what each brushes are used for and things like that. And this is what it looks like. So it's the front. This with the front has obviously all the face brushes and its uses. And then the back has all of the eye brushes and its uses. And also um, it's got the sort of different colours that are in the range of these brushes. So yeah, without any further ado, let's start with the brushes. So, so the first one that I can see here is the bronzer brush, which I'm assuming is let me see, I think it's this brush. Yes, yeah, this brush. It says that this brush is for blending makeup products as areas such as the sides of the nose and the hollows of, of the cheeks. Looking at this brush, I don't think it will be perfect for the side of the nose. Obviously, your nose is much more narrower, so you need a much narrower brush to contour your nose. What I'd say that I'd use this brush for is probably to apply foundation, liquid foundation, just because of the way that the brush is shaped. Um, it's got the flat top, so it's gonna be good for packing on the product and obviously things like that. The next brush that it says on here is the flat contour brush, which I know 100% is this brush. On the leaflet, it says, this brush is used for applying concealer or highlighter. Uh, Product around the eyes and nose, chin and around the mouth. Again, I would use this for just contouring the cheeks simply because it will be perfect to go into the hollows of the cheeks and possibly the sides of the nose just because of the, the way it's tapered like a bit narrow and flat. So it'll be like fitting nicely for your nose like that. If you can see what I'm doing and there like that. So that's what I'd use this one for. Um, and the next one that is showing is the flat angled foundation brush, which I know 100% everyone knows is this brush. No, it's not even the flat angle. This is the liquid foundation brush. So this one is for blending liquid or cream foundation onto the face. Obviously, this, you know, it's universal. Everyone knows that that's what it is used for. So yeah, I would use this for packing on cream or uh, liquid foundations onto the face or even like blending out um, concealer under the eyes. This is good. Now the next one is the angled one, which is this one. I don't know if you can see the little angle on it. And this says it's used for applying foundation to all areas of the face seamlessly. Which, yeah, again, I can see that this can be used for that. But as I said, like, the flat part of the brush is good for packing on foundation. So if you want a much full, much more full coverage, um, I would use this um, brush for that. Okay, so the next brush is the powder brush, which is this brush. It's for uh, buffing a powder foundation application and blending mineral products onto the skin, which yeah, obviously, as you can see, it's much more fluffier. The bristles are not as packed and tight, so it will be good to get that product and just dust it around your face. And obviously, if you've um, baked under your eyes or anything like that, it's good to get the dust out straight away and give a seamless um, look to your base basically and then the next brush is the blush brush which is obviously for applying blush um, how I usually apply blush is um, I just dip it in like this into the product tap off the excess and then just press it whereas if I do this I find that you get too much product on one it doesn't it takes longer to blend too and um, there's like too much product on there, so it's just concentrated more in one area. Whereas if you dab onto each area first, then you get a more flawless and seamless look. So yeah, that's all the face brushes. Uh, you get six big fat face brushes. You get six big fat face brushes. Um, the quality feels like it's gonna be really good quality. Okay. So now onto the eye brushes that we have. 
which is these ones. Don't know if you can see them properly, bristle by bristle. These are the eye brushes. The first one that we've got here is the blending brush, which is this one here. Don't know if you can see that. It's nice and round and quite fluffy. As you can see, it's not that dense. Um, this is obviously used for controlling eyeshadow application and blending eyeshadow makeup. As you can see there, this is really, really good for blending. Um, just because the brushes are not too together. So the more sparse they are, the more easier it will be to blend out the eyeshadow. So that's this one. The next brush here is this one. It's similar to the first one that we've just looked at. And this is the small shader brush. And this is for applying eyeshadow, particularly well exact placement of eyes. So this is to concentrate it more on the crease. So the first one that I showed you, which is this one, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one is more sparse and much more bigger. And this one is much more concentrated and a little bit more packed. So this one, as we said, it's for the blending, is for the first shadow that you put on over the crease. And then this one will be to put into the crease. So it's to add the depth definition into your crease. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's that. This is more sparse, and this is more dense. The next one is lip brush, which would be this one. This is the lip brush. This is used for applying precise application of colour on the lips. Usually people like to use this, what well, um, makeup artists like to use this on their clients as they have a palette of lipsticks. So this would be good for that. Someone like me, I just use my own makeup. So I just use my lipstick straight from the thing. But if you want more of a crisp line and things like that, then you would use this. And it's good because of the point that it's got. So it will give you like more like um, control and definition on the outlines of your lips. The next one is the concealer brush, which is this one. It's really, really small. This is for concealing particularly well around the eyes and the nose. So this would obviously be for um, the little creases that you have under your eyes. Or if you want to highlight your nose, then this would be for that purpose. Um, me, I don't really like using these brushes because I just feel like using this is no point because it's just more to clean really. So I wouldn't use this brush. What I'd probably use this brush for is probably like to smoke out the lower lash line or if I'm packing on glitter bit by bit or maybe even if I'm cutting my crease because it's quite flat and it's not fluffy and it is a little bit dense. As you can see, it doesn't have that much of a leeway to bend. So that would be good for that, for me anyways. The next on my list is the flat angled liner brush, which is this. This is for applying liquid and gel liner. So as you know, this is easy for you guys to use as a guide to do your wing liner as it's got the angle for you already. Um, so obviously, you know, you put it from, if you're doing this eye, you put it this way like that, and then you twist it the other way around to drag it back down onto your eye. Um, I don't really use this brush to do my eyeliner because I use liquid liners that already have the brush on it. But what I would use this for is to do my eyebrows. So if I was, um, if I had like a dip pomade or something like that, I use this to shape my eyebrows. So this is really good for that. As you can see, that's what I'd use it for. Okay, so the next brush is my favourite brush. I use, I go through like loads of these at a time. I have to have loads and loads and loads of these. And it's a spoolie brush. Well, that's what I call it. Um, on this is called an eyelash, an eyelash brush. Okay. And this is used for separating eyelash and removing mascara clumps or applying primer. Girl, no, this is a spoolie. I would use this to brush the hairs of my eyebrows to get them ready for me to draw them on. So I don't know where they were going with mascara, but yes, as you guys wish to use your brushes is up to you, but I would use this to brush out my eyebrows. The next one that we have is the eyeshadow brush, which is this. And this is used for applying eyeshadow base. So obviously, you know, it's for pressing on pigment onto your eyeshadow or, but I think, I don't know, like brushes like this, just cause it's got a little bit of a fluff on it. 
I still use this on my crease because I think it's too fluffy to pack on um, product. No, but like, no. just because of the way it is a little bit fluffy, it comes out like this. I'd use this on the crease. So, yeah, it's up to you guys again what you want to use your brushes for. And then the next one that we have is the slight, slight bigger one of the first version that I just showed you. And this is the eye smudge brush, and it's for blending eyeshadow and makeup. Um, again, it's exactly about the same brushes that we've had but I would use this for under my eyes just to smoke out the under eye. A bigger brush like this is better for that just because it's less time to do it in and it just, you know, just blends it out really easy for you guys. So I'd use this for smudging under the eyes. I think because of the shape of it, it'll be perfect just for the middle. So that's what I'd use this for. The last brush, which I don't know why it's this, but it says the eyeliner brush, which, Come on guys, does this look like an eyeliner brush to you? This says that it's used for applying liquid and gel liner. This is too thick for that, as you can see. If you wanna do eyeliner, it's something, you know, really small, precise. This is really big, really dense, and not for your eyeliner. Again, I'd use this for precision on the crease or even to smudge under the eyes. Um, like I said, you can sort of mix and match to use them to the liking that, you, that is for you best. You don't have to follow the guide of the brushes. What I'd give these ratings out of a five um, would be, um, maybe a three out of five, simply because um, if you was a beginner and you didn't see this video and you're not familiar with makeup like that, then um, what it says on the leaflet is a little bit difficult for you to use certain brushes for, like the eyeliner brush that I showed you, it was a bit too thick for it to be an eyeliner brush. So if you were just reading that from a pamphlet you and you use that for your eyeliner, you'd be pretty upset if you did your makeup all nice and then coming to the end, um, the eyeliner didn't do you justice. Um, so yeah, so, and, and obviously there's other few brush brushes on there that I would say, you know, as a beginner, if you was reading through a leaflet, it wouldn't benefit you in any way, just like the mascara brush. Um, you wouldn't use this for your mascara, it would ruin your brush. But yeah, all in all, um, three out of five is not that bad. It's a good purchase for the price. It's soft, it's animal cruelty free. Um, you're sort of getting what you're paying for. And um, I really feel like it will last you like quite a long said, time. The three out of five is not a bad rating for these brushes. Like you're getting what you're paying for and all of that. So let me know what your thoughts are on the brushes. If you liked it, if you didn't, it'll, it'll be really nice to sort of see you guys' opinions on it. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and also share to your friends this video. It'll be really helpful for me. And um, I shall see you in my next video. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a makeup tutorial on this look, um, this eyeshadow look, just let me know and I will try and get something uploaded for you guys as soon as I possibly can. But for now, thank you so much. Love you guys.